Hi everyone, welcome to this video where we will dive into essential mathematical concepts and talk about the summary of the first unit lessons. The first unit we will talk about rational numbers operation. Now, let me talk about the lessons in this unit, unit number one. The first lesson will talk about relate integers and their opposites. The second one will talk about understand rational numbers. Number three, add integers. Number four, subtract integers. Number five, add and subtract rational numbers. Number six, multiply integers. Number seven, multiply rational numbers. Number eight, divide integers. Number nine, divide rational numbers. Number 10, solve problems with rational numbers. As you can see, these lessons or, or of all of these lessons will be very simple. Now, let me talk about some details about these, these lessons. Integers are whole numbers, including both positive and negative values, as well as zero. They are important various real life situations, but what about their opposites? An opposite is a number that, when added to another, equals zero. For example, five and negative five are opposites. Think of temperature. Think of temperature change. When it's five degrees warmer and it's negative five degrees colder. Now, let's talk about rational numbers. These are numbers that can be expressed as a fractions. Rational numbers include integers. The numerator is the top part of the fraction and the denominator is the bottom part. For example, 1 over 2 and negative 3 over 4 are rational numbers. A fraction are used in many everyday scenarios. Adding integers is a straightforward. When you add two integers with the same sign, you add their absolute values and keep the sign. For different signs, subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger one and keep the sign of the number with the greater absolute value. For example, adding negative 3 and 7 gives us 4. Also, subtracting is similar. To subtract integers, change the subtracting sign to addition and change the sign of integer being subtracted. Then follow the rules of addition. For example, subtracting negative 3 from 7 become 7 plus, th uh, 7 plus 3, which equals 10. Now, adding and subtracting rational numbers, like a fractions, requires finding a common denominator. Add or subtract the numerators while keeping the common denominator. For example, adding 1 over 3 and 1 over 4 yields 7 over 12. Subtracting 1 over 4 from 1 over 2 gives us 1 over 4. These skills are handy for dealing with the measurements, time, and money. Now, when multiplying integers, remember that a positive times a negative equals negative, different signs, and two negatives equal positive. For division, it's similar. A positive divided by a negative is negative, and two negatives divided yield a positive result. These rules are essential for various calculations. Extending these operations to rational numbers. Remember to simplify fractions when possible. For example, multiplying 1 over 3 and 2 over 5 gives us 2 over 15. Dividing 3 over 4 by 1 over 2 simplifies 2, 3 over 2. Lastly, let's apply the skills to the word problems. Whether you are dealing with receives budgets or measurements, understanding rational, rational numbers, and their operations is important. Now, 
if you didn't understand anything from what I talked about, no problem. It's a normal thing because we will explain in our class all of these lessons step by step. And we will stay all together to reach our goal. We will reach our goal together. We will stay all together step by step to explain all details of this lesson and everything in these lessons. Thank you and see you soon.